Hello and welcome back to Kentucky Home Garage. Uh, today I'm working on 2010 BMW 328i and uh, has some codes in it and uh, one of them is a secondary air code. Uh, has some different codes as well but those are one that I made as I was unplugging some components. Uh, so this time we're going to address the secondary air uh, system. Uh, basically uh, we're going to do some um, uh, checks under the hood. We're going to do some checks on the, on the bench. Uh, so basically the system has a uh, pump, has a air check valve and um, has a filter and um, the, uh, the check valve is uh, mounted on the exhaust manifold so that the air pump pushes the uh, fresh air into the exhaust to warm up the color converter faster. Um, now my tool unfortunately does not have a bi-directional control, uh, controls for this system so that I can energize the pump so uh, I will have to do that on the on the bench and uh, the first thing I've done um, I actually had to remove all the components uh, because I was quite honestly a little confused with the, with the, with the system because uh, I uh, as, as I was working on other BMWs, the check valve was uh, vacuum activated. This one, it's not. This one is just one-way valve, and it opens itself as the uh, air pump uh, turns on and pushes the air into the uh, uh, into the uh, exhaust. Uh, so the, uh, uh, it seems like the um, uh, check valve just opens. Uh, uh, by the uh, pressure from the air pump. So um, first I'm going to get you the guys down to um, a spot where um, a check valve is. Actually I'll show you where it is. Here's the, uh, here's the check valve. As you can see there are no any kind of attachments to this. is just the inlet where the air comes in. This is the part that is attached to the uh, exhaust. So basically air comes from, the, in the, in, from this direction into the exhaust. Um, Quick uh, uh, visual inspection, what you can do when you look at the valve, the, uh, the part that is connects to um, uh, uh, air pump, you don't want to see any kind of uh, um, <coughs> uh, oh shoot, I'm sorry guys, you don't want to see any, any exhaust uh, in this side of the, of the pump. If you see a uh, buildup of carbon, that is indication that this valve is actually failing and at the uh, the air, the exhaust is actually going into the uh, air system, air, secondary air injection system, and actually can burn the pump as well. So uh, what you can do which is just uh, blow from this side out. You can see that. Uh, let me. Uh, So now we know the, uh, the air is able to go into the exhaust. Now to um, what we don't want to see when we blow from this side, we don't want to see any air coming back to the air pump. So, so you see guys that that's, that's how you test it. It's an easy test. Now in order to do that of course you have to take it out of the, uh, off the exhaust manifold. There's a little trick. There's, a, there's a two bolts that keeps it on it. Uh, what I had to use is uh, one of these uh, wrenches it's like this is this type of wrench to get around to to get to it and uh, now what other thing do I want to I, I think I actually found the problem uh, as I was uh, working on it I think the 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 exhaust was um, uh, partially obstructed and uh, I'm gonna get you down to uh, Okay, so these, as you can see, there's two bolts. That's what keeps the uh, pump in the place. And uh, sure, there you go. Now uh, these two, uh, these two holes here. That's that's where the you know air is supposed to enter the uh, exhaust. And what I did, I took the brush, just like for a gun cleaning brush, and I poked through there. And this end was was clogged up. So I, I poked through there, and. Uh, now it's nice and clean. I can, I can pass my brush to that. Okay, so other thing we can do, now at this point we can start the car and uh, I'm gonna, you don't want to do this for too long because you can get yourself burned up, but uh, uh, 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna plug one end as as the car runs, and we can see the exhaust escaping from this end, and I'm gonna do the same on the other side, and that that's gonna confirm that my exhaust now and the, the exhaust is clean. So let's do that real quick and. Uh, Alright guys, you can see now my exhaust is clean. I hope you guys were able to see that. Uh, but you, you know, you can't do that for too long because exhaust get, gets hot pretty fast. So now we're going to do some bench testing and then uh, we're going to button everything together and uh, let's see what kind. We're going to look at some data on the scan tool and uh, confirm the repair. Okay guys, now, now we're going to do some bench testing. Uh, you don't have to have all this fancy stuff, but uh, you can just use the regular jumper wires. But I'm gonna do step, you know, uh, extra step because I got all these tools that I can test it. Uh, so basically, uh, this is the uh, this is the air pump. Uh, this this end here is connected to the filter, and this uh, this is the hose, the check valve, and the, basically what we're gonna check is the pump itself. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the uh, power probe. Uh, you can just use the jumper wire, and uh, now. When you do this, uh, make sure there are two wires here, of course, there's a red and black, so the, the red is going to be the positive, black is going to be negative. Uh, so you want to make sure it connected like that, because if you connect it the other way, uh, it's, the pump's going to spin the opposite direction, it may give you the false results. So let's just, uh, now, as I do this, uh, I'm going to put the paper, let me see if you guys can see that, okay good. So I'm going to just put the paper on my check valve, we already checked it, check, test, uh, tested the check valve by blowing the air through there, but this is, we can do it this way as well. So I'm just going to put the uh, paper here and, I'll, and, and, uh, and I'll look for um, um, the air of going through my uh, valve and of course we're going to check the pump as well, so here we go. Now you can see. You can see the air is, is going through there, and now I'm gonna. I actually also put my um, um, amp clamp over, and let me just uh, do it one more time. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back, uh, and uh, you know, with this, it's very nice since I have a lab scope, I can check the health of, the, uh, of a um, uh, pump itself. Uh, now we can see that uh, is pulling a uh, right now around. Uh, let's see, actually. Okay, so uh, let's see, it's around, uh, around 10, 1.1 amp. I mean, uh, level uh, 1. Point, this this is the uh, conversion of 100 millivolts is equal one, 1 amp. So I have a 1.1 volt, which is equal. Um, um, uh, 10, uh, 11 amps of current, so which is okay. And uh, let's see if the camera can pick that up. Oh, actually, let me get it closer here. All right, let's see that. Yeah. Sorry about the glare. Uh, let's see. That's a little bit better, I hope. So now you can see it um, It pulls uh, uh, 11 amps, and that's the uh, maximum, and the minimum is... Uh, it's uh, one point... Uh, let's see, so it goes... Let's see, on the, okay, I'm number two. So one point four, it's like, actually, it's, I'm at the 14 amps on the upper, and one point, if 11, 12 amps on the on the lower, see right there. So that's okay. And now I can uh, 
just see my rush current, uh, how much the pulls the. Uh, uh, let's see here. My cursors. And we can check the rush current. And it is actually, it actually is a, we can see now it's a 2.5 volts, it's like a 25 amps uh, of a. And that's, that's fine. So um, this way we can test our our air pump. This is the our rush current as we turn it on the first time. I'm sorry for the glare, guys, but um, um, so that's that's what we want to see. Um, so now with with my lab scope, of course, I can I can check all this. But for you guys, uh, pretty much all you gotta do is just uh, get the uh, uh, you know jumper cables and uh, you know see if the pump is running and uh, they will be, you know, you can connect your uh, the word of valve, the check valve to make sure you got a flow and uh, you're pretty much done with that and now we'll have to put everything back together and uh, look at look some data. Of course at this point we still don't know if the uh, computer is able to energize our, our, our uh, water, uh, uh, air pump so uh, we're gonna put everything back together and uh, start it up and also we wanna check the voltage that comes to our uh, air pump as we connect everything together make sure we don't have any voltage drop uh, at the air pump as the computer energizes there's a there's a um, relay the computer uh, closes controls the relay to uh, give the power to the fuel to, to the air pump so um, uh, I'm gonna put everything back together and uh, then we're gonna start it up and see what kind of reading we're gonna have and also we're gonna we're gonna look a um, our oxygen sensors so make sure they go lean as the as the pump is energized and if that's okay then they should be fixed so all right okay got everything back together again it's a pretty simple procedure here's the the, the check valve they got uh, screws right underneath there's a two screws on each side I mean one screw on each side and uh, just you know uh, put it back together here's the uh, hose that goes into the uh, into the air pump. The air pump is held by uh, three grommets. There's a one, two, and one on the on the bottom. It's very simple. And there's the uh, the, um, the, the uh, air filter right in here. Uh, connects to the to the air pump. Now I have a uh, uh, power and ground on my uh, air pump back probed, and uh, I'm gonna get in the car. Uh, Okay, so now what we have, I'm sorry for the, uh, so, sorry for the noise, so what we're going to check now, we're going to check the power on our, um, on our pump, and also I have my, uh, let's see if I can do it this way, there you go, this right there. so now, now we can see the power, and also we're going to look at the, um, our oxygen sensors, make sure they go lean. So let's just do that, it's too much noise. And then this will also confirm, this will, uh, I'm sorry guys, this is crazy. Uh, okay, let's see here, mate. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry guys. So we're going to look here, you know, this is going to give us a, um, uh, indication if the computer is able to energize the uh, uh, air pump so we're gonna look at the voltage and uh, make sure we don't have any voltage drop and once the air is uh, air pump is energized uh, we should see a uh, these numbers uh, going up this is the um, uh, air fuel ratio sensors and uh, you know above 2 volts is lean below 2 is rich so hopefully this will go you know above 2 volts so over to us. Let's just uh, let's start it up real quick. And okay, now we can see we have a, a control uh, going on, and uh, it said it goes up to 13 volts, so we're okay there. And uh, my voltage on uh, it goes to 2. Point... Now it's it's off. I'm sorry, but you guys, you could see the there was a, a time when the uh, let's let's see if I can do this again. If it's going to energize, I want to see the numbers. Sure, if he's gonna do it or not, okay. you can see it's going lean, it's so going up to three volts almost. So, that's for me, that should be fine. There you go. And now, once the pump is off, 
has got back to the now she's going rich so that takes that air away away so all right i think this is it this should be fixed okay guys um, uh, something just caught my attention as i was doing this i just realized that uh, the voltage on my air pump was starting at 10 10 volt and gradually went up to 13 or or the battery vo system voltage so I'm not sure if I have a possible problem with the maybe relay that's not closing on time. Maybe relay has a resistance on it or have some kind of a uh, issue there. So I just want to confirm that now on my on my channel one I have a system voltage, on my channel two it's going to be my um, air pump again. So let's that, let's start it up and see if if these two match, then that's just going to be the system voltage that's the design like that. So let's do that real quick. Okay, it's pretty close. Okay, so now we can see. All right, there's some voltage drop, but not. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm happy now. I was a little worried that now it's off. I was worried for the moment that uh, uh, there's some kind of a resistance, unwanted resistance, in, resistance in the in my uh, wiring or something. So, all right, that 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 makes me happy. All right. Well, this is a fun project, so uh, you know I think this is we cover every every single possible you know pr problem that that could that could happen in the system. So we don't we don't just replace the parts; they're not needed to be replaced. So we checked a uh, uh, air pump. Also, we checked the current on the air pump. Make sure the health of the pump is good. You know, for you guys who don't have the uh, um, M clamp and lab scope, that's not possible. But you can now we can. You can energize the pump, make sure the pump is working. Uh, of course, make sure that all the tubings are not cracked. Then uh, at the check valve, uh, at the check valve, just to check the valve, uh, look at the, uh, uh, the part that connects to the, the, the tube that connects to the uh, uh, air pump. Make sure that end it's not uh, does not it's not dirty from the exhaust. That it's indication that the exhaust gases are entering through the uh, check valve into the air secondary air injection, uh, air injection system. So take the uh, the water valve off, and you know do the blow, uh, just the blow through the um, valve and make sure the air is going. The blow the opposite direction, make sure the the air does not. Uh, they check the uh, uh, your exhaust manifold, uh, clean all that uh, uh, carbon build up there, and that's what the problem in this one. And uh, you know you can start the car and see that um, uh, you know to plug each end, plug each hole to make sure you have you, you have a uh, 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 exhaust uh, coming through there. And uh, you know once you put everything back together, um, you know if you have a scan tool that can energize the air pump, that's great. If not, uh, just wait for the car to cool off and uh, do this test again. Start it up. Check your power and ground at, at your connector. Make sure you have a good good power and ground. Is now so that that will they will give you the uh, um, information that computer is able to energize the system. They control the, able to control the system. And then you look at the data. To look at the data, you can actually have the, just a simple uh, um, a scan tool that can look at the um, OBD2, um, and uh, you can you can see the uh, air uh, air fuel uh, ratio sensors. Um, just a, this is a simple, simple. Uh, any scan tool that has the uh, live data that you can, uh, you can actually, you can do it on the OBD2. And uh, um, I think that's it. I mean, uh, I, I think this was. I hope this was informative. I hope I hope somebody can uh, use this to diagnose the problem. And um, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.